For this demo, we will install VNQM to my virtual machine. Please know that you need to have an install server set up and a SQL database set up based on the requirements that we previously discussed. Let's get started. So let me open my virtual machine and log into my account on customerportal.solaris.com. Now for us to download the product or the installer, we need to go to downloads. If you have a license, click on download product, but if you're looking for an evaluation version, click on download a trial. Let's click on that. Now, once the page loads up, look for network management. Under network management, look for VoIP and network quality manager, click on download free trial. Now you would have two options. You need, you can download the offline installer or the online installer. Now for us to save time, I have previously downloaded the installer. For us to run the installer, let's go to downloads and right click on Solar Rinse Orion VMQ and evaluation and run it as an administrator. This will pop up the installer. Once done, it will initialize the Solar Rinse setup wizard. Now you will have three options the lightweight installation, standard installation, or adding a scalability engine. The lightweight installation installs SQL Server Express locally, but it's limited to 10 gigabit of database size. It's good for evaluating products on the Orion platform. You will also have the option to use the standard installation. This requires a SQL Server, and the database size is limited by the storage, and it is required for production environments. Let's select standard installation. Then click on Next. On this page, it will allow us to select products to install. Now, VNQM is already selected by default, including the version. But of course, you can still choose other products. But for now, I'm going to stick with VNQM and click on Next. It will run a few checks. It says here that your environment may experience issues in the future based on the warnings listed below. Review the items for more information. Well, as what you can see, I'm getting two warning signs here, but I'm actually good with that since this is just an evaluation and this is just a demo. So click on next. You'll now be presented with the end user license agreement. I best suggest that you read through it. And once you're done, click on I accept the terms of the license agreement, put a check mark and click on next. Now, it would tell you that it is downloading the installers and the modules for the Orion platform, including VNQM, which may take a few minutes. And while this one is loading, let me give you a few tips, all right, when installing an Orion platform product. So do not install Orion products on the same server as your SQL server. Hopefully the reason is pretty apparent as both need a good chunk of resource and are likely to be much for more than one or for just one server. So just don't because it won't end well. Now, next would be do not install any Orion platform products on a domain controller. I think the product will actually stop you for this one because it's not a good mix. And you can install def or install to defaults. Um, platform products install very well to defaults, such as the install directory. Well, apparently, if it's required for you to change it, then you could do so as well. Okay. Now, you can refer to the documentation that we do have for VNQM listed on your participants guide if you need more guide to actually work with the setup. Let's wait for this to finish. Once done, it will ask us to go through the SolarWinds configuration wizard. Let's click on next. Now, there are a few things that we need to set up, such as your database. And this will walk us through on how we can configure your database. Now, it is requiring us to set up the SQL Server. So let me put my SQL Server IP address in. And of course, you need to have an account for this one for authentication. So I'm using my SQL user and I'm going to type in my password and click on Next. Now, under database settings, you can specify the SQL Server database or we can create our own. For this case, I'm going to create a new database since this is a new install. Let's name it as VNQM install and click on next. Now you need to specify the SQL Server account for Orion to use. I'm going to use my existing account for this matter. Click on next after. 
Now under website settings, it says here, enter the IP address, port, and location of the Orion Web Console. If you're good with the defaults, then you can click on Next and click on Yes. Now it says here that these are the services that we will be installing. If you agree to it, then click on Next, then click on Yes after. Now once you have confirmed all of the services, click on Next, and we just need to wait for the configuration to finish. This might take a few minutes up to let's say less than an hour depending on how well your server is but most of the time it usually takes between 15 to 20 minutes with the current version let's wait for it to finish all right it says here congratulations you have completed the orion configuration wizard you have set up your orion database the orion website and all services are up and running now let's select launch the Orion web console and click on finish for us to start monitoring for VNQM. And you'll be routed over to the login page. Now for the first time that you would be logging in here, it would ask us to create a new password. So simply put your password in, make sure that it's secure and safe. You have the guidelines below and click on save and login. Once you have clicked on save and login, it would prompt you to work with your network discovery. Now, we do have a specific video dedicated for network discovery. It is called Deploying the Orion Platform. If you want to check it out, all you need to do is look for it on the on-demand section under Orion Platform Classes. That's it for now, and thank you.